Hey everybody, Scal Crafty here again. Mishmash Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. I know I did. We uh, we did the Jacktown meetup this year. I think it's the fourth time we met up at Jacktown for a spring meet. Just a great time. Now um, I'm using a, a new cam this a new vi phone. I got my sister bought me a phone for my birthday. Uh, all the bells and whistles. I'm just getting used to it. So uh, if you have any audio issues or something, just let me know in the comments. I'm trying to work it out. These newfangled phones, are, uh, it's not like the old flip phone. <laughs> They're a little bit tricky to work with, so uh, uh, bear with me on that. But um, like I said, uh, we went to Jacktown. I filmed a bunch of footage. We've got a lot to talk about, so sit back, relax. Come take a walk with me around Jacktown. See what it looks like. And uh, it rained the night before, so it was a little bit wet conditions. We got there real early. But we stayed there for a while, at least six hours. Let's check it out now. Okay, 6 a.m., 6 a.m., we're here on time. And it is uh, just starting up, as you can see. People are just starting to climb out of their little tents and their little RVs and uh, setting up here. And you can see it's, you know, hardly anybody's here yet. But this is when you get some really good deals. Let's go see what's going on. I'm not buying stuff. I'm not buying stuff. Now, believe it or not, this was one of the biggest vices I've ever seen at Jacktown. It was an absolute monster. Now, the next segment of tables that you're going to see is uh, owned by a gentleman by the name of Bob. Really nice guy. He's a retired <laughs> shop teacher who goes from uh, show to show now, and that's what he does for fun. And he uh, gets here, obviously, really early, and he's here for the whole weekend. But he has this corner, usually in the back here. And he has a tremendous amount of different tools. And inside the tent that you'll see later on, he keeps his uh, slightly better tools that he don't want the, the weather to get to. But um, the best way to deal with Bob is, um, is with lots. Uh, to pick up a bunch of stuff, just to go there with a handful of stuff and say, Bob, what can you do for me? And, uh, and you'll save a lot of money that way. But he has a lot of different items, a lot of interesting items. And uh, you saw here he had a couple blow torches and things that you don't usually find. At all at good prices. So if ever you go there, look for Bob. You'll see him. He's standing up here and he has the apron on. There he is there with the camo hat. And uh, just uh, look for Bob and always talk to him. Get to know him, real nice guy. I don't 
Okay, what you're about to see now is one of the best buys you will ever see in your lifetime. Now, check this out. This is a wood lathe, vintage, $35, okay? Look at the condition. It's cast iron, beautiful vintage lathe, but here's the catch. It came with an adjustable three-jaw chuck and a Jacobs chuck with the key. Thirty-five. I mean, this is just one of the best buys that you'll ever see in your life. Look at this beauty just waiting to be taken home and fixed up. Isn't that gorgeous? Right. 
look at this beauty of a motor, huh? Boy, that's something that'd be tough to carry to the car. Well, it's a good thing I'm done buying tools. A lot of times, people look back on the videos, they don't, a lot of people never seen 357 magazines hidden out. <laughs> Baghdad stickers. Wave to the people. Wow, we got a lot of people today. This is great. I know. Look at, this is the new phone, the new iPhone. Isn't that nice? Look at how it picks up. Okay, yeah. so you can see there was a tremendous amount of, uh, things to pick up there. I, I was reviewing the footage as I was putting this video together and I kept saying, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? It's, it happens all the time. You get overwhelmed when you're there. Your brain cannot process everything you're seeing. So I think, you know what's a good idea to do? I think if you went there like on a Saturday and you videotaped everything early, you know, and then you go go sit in your car and look at the videotape and, <laughs> and then go back and pick up all the things that you, you saw on the tape that I don't know why I see it on the tape. I don't see it in person, uh, but great stuff. It was a great show. And then at 10 o'clock, we met up at the gazebo and everybody was on time. Such a, a great, uh, I cannot tell you what, just a great bunch of people uh the, our follow subscribers our group is it's just the, the best people you'll ever meet in your life and we've had people that came from far away it's uh florida north carolina maryland vermont of course uh, new jersey pennsylvania new york long island um and uh even mexico but mexico new york i didn't even know Me new york had a mexico new york <laughs> But anyway, we had a tremendous amount of, of, of people showing up from, from faraway places. We had over 50 people show up. We had a nice little raffle. And, uh, and thank you so much to my good friend Russell, Trusty Rusty, for giving out the raffle tickets and helping out in that respect. But um, one thing I have to say is that I was really blown away by how many YouTube subscribers showed up to support our channel and our cause and uh, let me show you who showed up just as far as the creators. We'll start with the heavy hitters like 805 Road King. We got Mike, the small engine mechanic. Uh, we have 357 Magdad. Paul's workshop came down with his son. Uh, we have uh, Gunter's Garage Bob. Um, Wireworks 
came with his wife. Tom Gunn also brought his wife. So glad about that. And uh, also lots of trains. Ken when it came with his son. Now, we had our first meetup uh, a, a, a few years ago. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a few of us got together. And it's really kind of blossomed into something really nice. And I feel, the one thing I feel bad about, I wish it was, we could be a little bit more organized, but it's kind of an off-the-cuff thing. And um, the my only regret about this time is that I didn't get a chance to sit down and talk with every one of you that came. I, I mean, only a few words here and there. And I, I know some of you came for, I just wish I could spend some more time and, and chat with you because uh, I recognize a lot of faces from last year and also some new faces. And um and then also, I, I'm so bad with names. I'm so bad with names. People introduce me and they're like, hey, I'm, I'm so-and-so. And, and two minutes later, I'm like, I, I draw a blank. And I don't know what that is. I, I My mother was good with names. I'm just bad with names. So uh, I had some people that, that brought some gifts down and things like that. And I'm going to show you what they brought down. Again, I'm I'm bad with names. I, I can't remember. Uh, the, uh, but I remember by face who gave. I just... By name, I don't. So let me show you uh, some of the things that were given. And uh, and also, I want to tell you a funny story about Scott Durga that you I think you'll enjoy. You know, uh, the day before Jacktown, actually, I get like a, an overnight package from uh, a good friend, Scott Durga, who uh, is in Colorado. You remember Scott from the payphone. He sent the payphone. Back. Great guy. Great family. Just a, a fantastic guy. And Scott said, look, I, I wish I could be there. I know, I, you know, you're going to have a good time. I want to send some gifts down for the subscribers. I mean, how nice is that? And that's why I'm telling you we have the best subscribers anybody. But he sent down a bunch of these. Uh, these uh, are aviation tools. Now, it says 4140. I wonder if that's the steel it's made from. But it's a uh, it's a, a pry bar. It's made in the avi for, for the aviation industry and stuff. But it's forged. It's uh, it's really nice. I mean, this is, and everybody was psyched about these. You know, I I can't tell you how nice of a tool this is. And then he sent down a bunch of these for. Oh, to, oh look at this. He made these. You know, um, this is the Craftsman logo, uh, the print, the font, and he made these on his three D printer. And then painted them and everything. What a nice job he did. He, you know, took the craftsman and then he made the other letters using the computer. Unbelievable. So everybody was psyched about that. Everybody was so happy. Scott, thank you so much for that. Okay, and I hope you'll forgive me for this because, like I said, I can't remember. You know, people, they come up and, and they'll see you and they'll say, oh, I got this for you. And they introduce themselves. But I'm too b busy, like, uh, trying to remember their face and I can't remember their name. So let's go through. So these are the gifts that were given. It's really nice stuff. My buddy Brian, I remember his Brian Cal Pilot. He comes from Florida, and it's funny. He he knows he was one of the furthest uh, distance people, but he since he kind of flies, he's a pilot himself. So he didn't kind of count himself in. Um, he gave me this awesome light, which we're going to be doing soon. Um, from it's actually made in Queens, New York. Can you imagine where this thing has been? And and it's back home again in Queens. So nice little light. Thank you for that. And um, and then these other great gifts that from and and different. It, I know Terry gave me these because uh, my Polish brother. But some of the ones I I have trouble. Uh, if the funny thing is that some of the people I guess know how I am. So when they uh, give me something, they put their name with it, which really helps. You know, like a little card or something. Like I know that. Kevin gave me this, and this is a uh, Vaco screwdriver, but there's a big story behind this. These are really nice and very difficult. It's like NOS, very hard to uh, to find these screwdrivers uh, anywhere. And, and the beautiful thing about it is that it's a long shaft with a small head. You know, these were like electricians. He had to buy a whole case to get just he wanted them for himself. He had to buy 144. I think he's down to a couple. Um, my buddy Mark... Gave me this thing. This is a NOS, new old stock. And you know what's funny? It's a flexible, Miller flexible screwdriver. But people think, you know, it's like a gimmick. This is not a gimmick. These actually do work. Just like those split head screwdrivers that lock in. The, you know, sometimes you have to get into something. You could bend it like this and you could turn it, you see? So uh, this is beautiful. And especially new old stock condition. Um, and then some of the Don gave me these great uh strap cutters these are to cut those metal straps around the boxes we got to restore this is just a beautiful be these were heavy duty well made nice tool uh i remember this because wire is a locksmith so that's why i remember wire giving me this 
uh, from his channel. But uh, and then there was the other one. This one here, I think it was Ru Rupert. I think it was Jay Rupert gave me. This is the uh, a beautiful screwdriver set. And he said, he said when he gave it to me, he says, I remember you did a video where this was your first set. And it was. This was the first set of screwdrivers I ever owned. So he happened to have a NOS set and he oh look at that and then these things are no joke they they used to sell these in buckets and things like that and you would think they were cheap they weren't there was chrome vanadium steel they were good screwdrivers and that's a nice beautiful set and, and uh, like I said new old stock condition now uh I, here's where I get a little foggy right but I think the Florida come <laughs> from Florida gave me this uh beautiful clamp this is the uh, 600 series, the body clamp. And, uh, you know, we all love these, right? And I was telling you, I said, remember Joe Shop, who's also from Florida. That's why I think it was that Joe Shop has, a, he has a bunch of these. And I was like, maybe they were big down Florida. And that's why we don't see them the rest of the place. So that's really great. And I also think they gave this one here. You know what's different about this? Look, it's made in the USSR. And first thing I checked when I got this... Uh, this wrench is, it's a left-handed wrench. <laughs> it closes when you pull down instead of pushing, you know, for us. So, uh, but that is interesting. And it even feels heavier than normal. So I wonder what kind of steel they used. But um, really great stuff. I, thank you so much to everybody. And I'll show you what I bought uh, Wednesday and then we'll restore something that I Okay, bought. so in closing, I don't want this video to get too long, but I'll have some stills afterwards and things like that. And, and again, using the new video from format and camera from my new phone i'm going to download this in a higher resolution so you could stop and maybe look at some of the things that were on the tables thanks so much for everybody for showing up that that did come down thanks for your continued support and i hope you have a fantastic day take care now bye bye Everybody say patina. Say it again.